Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. We're gonna paint a vase today. It's one of my favorite things to paint with acrylic pouring. So just in terms of prep, all I did to the vase was I cleaned it with alcohol. Now I have it sitting on top of this cup and that's sitting on top of a canvas. That is so A, the canvas will catch all the drips and B, I can lift it up from the cup and move it without touching the vase. Also underneath this, I have a silicone mat, which will catch any other runoff from the canvas. So we're gonna get started. The paints we are using are the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Acrylics. These are really fun paints. They're ready mixed and ready for acrylic pouring. You don't have to do anything to them. They are a little bit expensive, so I tend to just buy one at a time with a coupon. <laughs> um, but yeah, there we go. It's lots of fun. So I'm using also a different color scheme than usual here. I'm going to use some metallic white. I'm going to use some turquoise. Now this turquoise I kind of mixed up myself just from uh, some white, blue, and yellow. I'm going to use gold, which is a new color for me. And then I'm going to use orange and black. Keep in mind, whatever color you put in there first will be the last one out. Um, and whatever color you put in last, of course, um, will come out first. So just keep that in mind when putting your paints in, just in terms of what sequence you want them to come out in. All right, didn't mix up too much turquoise, unfortunately. Okay, so that should be good. I'm going to see if I can get just a little more turquoise out of here. So turquoise and orange is quite the color combo, but it should look really good together. I'm actually going to go a little more black. All right. Good. Underneath here is a 10 by 10 canvas, which needs about 7 ounces of paint. So I'm thinking that that's approximately how much I put in here. And in case I forgot to say, this is a silicone cup from Lowly Vefe also, same company that makes the silicone mats. And um, I like using their silicone products because it saves you a lot of paint. You can peel the, the paint right out and reuse the bowl so that way you don't waste plastic cups. And also you can um, pour the paint right off the silicone mat and use it for other projects. I actually just put a video out on that, so I'll link that in the description so you can see what kind of projects you can do with the acrylic skins. So at this stage, I just let it run down, and um, after about, you know, some three to five minutes, it will kind of start settling and stop running down as much. At that stage, I'm going to move this off and go ahead and do the canvas. But for now, we'll just let it go. So it actually seems like most of the orange and gold ended up on the canvas. Plus, I think I'm going to need a little more paint anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more of the orange and gold on here. I'm trying to get away from having... Um, vases that are always blue. <laughs> also a little more black came through than I wanted on there so just gonna add a bit more. There is still turquoise in this cup as well so it won't be only orange. This is going to be very interesting. <laughs> okay once again, I'm going to let that just kind of run for a little bit. Okay, great. I think that's good. I'm going to go ahead and move this off to the side where it will continue to drip. And then we'll go ahead and do the canvas. So don't worry too much. Also, if you touch the bottom of the vase because it's just gonna keep dripping anyway so if you got fingerprints on there it'll just cover them right up and now we're gonna go ahead and tilt the canvas 
This is really exciting colors. <laughs> This is, um, I don't know if I've used this color combo before with the orange. I definitely do a lot with like kind of the turquoisey and gold. So pretty excited about this color scheme. That is actually really pretty. Okay, I'm going to let the vase continue to drip a little bit and then we will come back and do our close up on both. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the canvas here. So I love these colors together. Canvas didn't get as much orange as I wanted. It got a lot of blue and gold, but it's really pretty. Really, really, really pretty. And then the canvas, the vase now got more orange than I wanted to. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I can turn it here real quick so you can kind of see the different sides. This is actually really pretty. Kind of like interesting marble. And down over here at the bottom, there's definitely still some of that blue, but more of that will run off. So it wasn't exactly the look I was going for, but I like it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this trying to switch up my color scheme. I think I will try these colors again one more time to see if I can get it a little more how I was kind of picturing it in my head, but I'm still very happy. And make sure you're following me on Instagram to see how this vase looks when it's all dry. My Instagram is at Mix Media Girl. I'll put that in the description as well as all the materials. So if you have any questions, look in the description, please. I will see you all next time.